Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. Welcome if this is your first time stopping by. I have literally six boxes of books that I need to unbox and put on these shelves and I've been waiting for them to all come in so we could finally do this. So I finally, I think, got all of them for the time being. Um, I have Book of the Month, a new Owl Crate Adult Fantasy Box, um, two Afterlights by Luma Crate and two Fairy Loots. So let's get into this video and unbox some books. Starting off, we're gonna do Book of the Month. I did do add-ons as I always do. Honestly, I think that's where they get you, but it's still great because they give you so many options, even ones that they've had in the past or just extra add-ons. So you've got great taste. This is their biggest book. I think I got box I got five so the first one is Catherine Center's Hello Stranger I actually had an arc of this from NetGalley I read it and I knew I wanted the um, hardcover or the um, physical copy this was an amazing read a five star for me and um, I knew that book of the month was going to have the best price on this so I got Hello Stranger from their I believe it was their rom-com selection for the month and then I got two books by Megan Golden because their thriller book of the month was actually a series, or part not a part of a series, but like a interconnected series, I guess. So I believe The Night Swim is the first one in this series, and this was from the 2020 box. And then Dark Corners is the new one. And in Dark Corners, I believe it's like a podcaster. Anyway, so I got both of these. I actually never read anything by this author, but I saw that she had really great reviews for her Night Swim novel. So I thought I would pick them both up because, as you know, hardcover prices are the best for this. The last two are more thrillers. Um, I didn't pick this up from last month, but they still had more copies of The Last Word by Taylor Adams. And this had really great reviews. I've heard amazing things. So I picked up a copy of that, and then I picked up a thriller of Riley Sager, The Only One Left. I've heard incredible things about this story, but I've also heard some not so great things, but I've heard that it's really, like the storyline is really gripping, and you kind of don't know where it's going, so at least it's not predictable, is what I was looking for. So this is my first Riley Sager book, and I'm hoping I really like this author's work. We're gonna open my first ever adult fantasy subscription. I don't have a Willem Crate or a Fairy Loot. I haven't been able to get um, selected for their from their wait list. So this is a new subscription for Owl Crate. I thought I would see if I like it. So let's try this out. Okay. This is so good because I did not buy this book and I was tempted to. So this says, Let the Games Begin, and the book this month is um, by Chloe Gong, and it's their her first adult fantasy, and it's Immortal Longings. So it came in like a plastic covering. This is a signed edition and has an exclusive cover along with sprayed edges. So this is what the hardcover looks like. It says there are no gods in this world, only kings and tyrants on the back. This is an exclusive cover design. It is a soft matte feel with the teal sprayed edges. There's no design on the edges. And then on the inside, let's see. I don't know if there's anything exclusive. No, there's nothing exclusive on the hardcover itself under the sleeve. And then we have the first page here, which has the signature. Um, so I haven't heard much about this book yet, but I know that everybody loves her other work, which I have not read. So we'll see if I like this. I do really um, want to read this. So I'm very excited that it was the subscription box or book for this box. And we'll give you an update if I like it or not. So this is, I believe, my regular monthly fairy loot box that we're going to open next. And I have no idea what the book is. I am signed up for the YA fairy loot box you know i appreciate that they put this packet packing penis in here for safety but man it's messy so the card this month looks like this it says book only young adult box and the book this month or the theme this month is cruel intentions i'm a newer fantasy reader so it's kind of better for me to read young adult fantasy so it's easier for me to digest and i'm not reading like brandon sanderson as my first ones but 
Um, I am starting to get more into it, so I'm excited to um, get more fantasy. So this is the uh, piece of art with the letter from the author. It's very pretty. And then the book is The Threads That Bind, and that is beautiful. I don't know what the original cover of this looks like. I haven't seen it. Um, it says, the Moira, boy, the Moira born always came in three, like the Moira, the goddess of fate themselves. The firstborn was the spinner who could weave new threads. The second was the drawer. She could elongate or shorten a thread, intensifying or weakening the corresponding feeling. And the youngest was the cutter, able to cut whatever thread she desired, even life threads. Cutters were the dangerous ones. So, this cover is beautiful, especially with that, like, metallic foiling. The sprayed edges are very, like, galaxy with, like, some moons down here with eyes and daggers. Very cool. Let's see. We've got some beautiful art on the inside. A reversible dust jacket, foiling on the hardcover. I'm sure that this is also signed by the author. So, looks like she just put her initials there in like metallic. Um, and then we got some more art with a different individual on the back with the, about the author. And then this box comes with a bookmark and I got a second one of the art so I think this might have been messed up but it came with like a whole little pamphlet talk for the author talking but the bookmark is really cool I've never gotten a bookmark from them before okay so I believe that this was a pre-order fairy loot editions of some books I honestly don't know what this one is so let's open it up so this is just like a thank you from the fairy loot team and telling you how to post so this is the legend born i don't know if it's a se series or a duology but i got these special editions because there are books that i've been wanting to read and i thought that these editions were beautiful but look at these sprayed edges on the side so pretty so we have legend born and blood marked um, both hard covers both special editions with um foiling on the cover I think they're both signed. We have art on the inside, a beautiful hardcover beneath, it wraps all the way around to the back. Okay, so these ones are not signed, so they're just special editions with the art, which is fine. So more art on the back. It says when the shadows rise, so will the light on the back of this one. And then blood marked, again, a beautiful hardcover beneath. Artwork there artwork there and this says the shadows have risen and the line is law so those are my special editions of those two books i've been very excited to read those our last two boxes are afterlight so i'm super excited one of these i believe is a special edition of a book that i've i had the paperback but i really love the author's work so let's open this one i think this is that one but i could be wrong this also could just be like my monthly one I honestly don't know. Let's see. Oh, these are special editions of other books. So I have two boxes. I think the other one might be it then. Um, so these ones are the Rachel Lynn Solomon set. Okay, so this is the Rachel Lynn Solomon special edition set that they um, came out with as a pre-order. So it has their most recent book, uh, Business or Pleasure, The X Talk, and Weather Girl. I only have Weather Girl as a paper paperback. Um, the other two I don't own, but when I saw that they were going to come as a set, this really excited me. Each one has sprayed digital edges, um, and then I think they're signed. I could be wrong, but they have extra beautiful designs on the cover, and the signature of the author on that side. This one has like a pink inside. I really like when they do these sets so that it's easier to have like kind of like a little matching thing there. This is on air. This one is also signed. I don't think there's anything like extra on the back. It's just like the plain pages. And then Pleasure of Business, which is their most the most recent release from this author and has beautiful books and socks. <laughs> um and then Deep Red Edges and is also signed. So we have our last box of this unboxing and this is also from Afterlight. I'm hoping that this is the special edition of the book that I thought the last box was and it is. Okay. So my favorite romance author, one of my favorites is Allie Hazelwood 
and they I didn't get the first two from oh, after like because I hadn't been subscribed to their um, releases yet but this one comes with beautiful bookmarks let's go through these this is a whole set which is really cool so we've got all of her characters from all three so I'm pretty sure that this is from love hypothesis these ones are from love on the brain and then wait hang on sorry that's go backwards love hypothesis love on the brain and then from most recent love theoretically so I'm super excited to get those kind of bookmarks it's really cool to see the character art and this was done by artwork by Coco so very cool we also got some cute little pins um, another piece of artwork in here so this is the set of alternate um, but, uh, covers for the different books so we have love on the brain and this is if you want them to all match so I could potentially get the hard covers if I can find them of Allie Hazelwood's other novels and put them on here so that's really cool so we have um, the love hypothesis and lastly I think the last one is for her let's see here I'm right yep for her love theoretically so very very cool I actually didn't even realize that this set came with that I thought it was just the book so that makes me super excited because if I can find the hardcovers of the other ones whether they're the Illumicrate versions or not and then we have the book love theoretically I have not read it yet I don't know why it's taking me so long to pick it up I think it's just because I'm overwhelmed with my current TBR as you guys know I have a lot of books on my TBR um, but this is beautiful edition with some purple sprayed edges and I think this is signed if I remember correctly and there should be an exclusive hardcover yep with some foiling and it is signed by Allie Hazelwood so I love Allie Hazelwood's books a lot they speak to me because I am in the stem fields for women so I really like that she started kind of creating this I don't know if she created the genre but like made it very popular to feature women in stem in her romance novels I really like that so I love her as an author and yeah, very excited about this. So I can't pick up all the books, but here are some of the books um, that we unboxed today. I'm very excited about all of these. And now I'm gonna go put them on my shelves and get these boxes out of my, my little library area. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know if you like to see these kinds of unboxings and I will make sure I do them in the future. I will see you guys in my next video and have a great rest of your day. Bye.